There we go. Okay. Welcome everyone to the first episode, the the grand opening. I guess well, it's not really an opening because we're not a shop, but what the first annual real duo podcast. I'm one of your hosts. Annual Wade. Yeah, isn't that what? It's what weekly. Annual yeah, is once a year. Know. It's once a year if you're doing it is annually. It? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm one of your hosts, Wade. Introduce yourself, Devin. Uh, Devin, right here, doing his thing. That's about it. Yeah. And this is this is basically this is a train wreck already. This is basically <laughs> a movie news slash nerd culture podcast where we talk about movies and we talk about nerd shit. It'll it'll probably turn into just more than just that. It'll mostly be just me ranting about Batman for like two hours, probably. No. Do you have any Batman news? Uh, there's stuff related to Batman, I guess. Okay, well, but nothing, nothing in particularly to the Batman movie that's going to come out. Okay, that, good, because that movie's going to give me a heart attack. <laughs> I mean, so, unless you want to talk about, you know, Patty Boy being. I don't want to talk about that anymore. <laughs> I talked about that already enough. What is your first piece of news? We're going to just jump straight into the news. All right, first thing that I saw for the week Tom Holland cast as Nathan Drake for the new Uncharted movie set in 2020. What do you think? That Tom Holland was cast a while ago for that, and I remember that was a weird choice to me because I thought they would want to go with like a slightly older Nathan Drake. But I think what they're going to do is they're going to start, they're going to do young Drake, and then they're going to hopefully, if they get sequels, if this is a good movie, they're going to build him into where he is in the first game, which is fine, I guess. That's a weird way of doing it. But I mean, I like Tom Holland. I think he's he's charming and he's fun and he's charismatic. I don't really see him as Nathan Drake, though. I just kind of see him as Spider Man Boy. Is this is this a continuation of the games? Or is it its own? I think it's its own thing. It'd be weird if it was a continuation of the game. Or is I it going like to be based off one of the games? It'll probably. I don't see. That's the thing. I don't know. I, we know very little about this movie. All we know is we don't even know who's playing like Sully. Like it, all we know is is Nathan Drake, and I want to know more about this movie because it, it could be a fun movie. It could be like the the new Indiana Jones for a lot of people. I was gonna say I've played Uncharted for like a total of ten minutes, so I couldn't tell you yeah. jack shit it that goes on in it. To play them. Uh, you got me one of them, but I still haven't played it. It. I get. Well, I think I got you both of them, or I got you all of them. I think. I remember four being on it. Other than that, I don't. Yeah, four is great. It'd be cool if this actually like was if this was like the first like great video game movie. I know Tomb Raider was like all right. It wasn't like great and it was kind of boring. And Assassin's Creed, I don't hate. But, I like hate it'd be that. really great. I, hate, I know hate you do that Kevin. movie. It you is hate everything. Other no, I don't. You hate everything. I hate a lot of stuff. But that movie is utter garbage. I wouldn't say utter garbage. It was painful to watch, but it wasn't terrible. I watched um, that on a plane, and it was awful. Well, that's probably why. Don't stop. No, no, it was it was very bad. I like Michael Fassbender, so I like the movie. I love Michael Fassbender, but he didn't make that movie for me. <laughs> he made he made it for me. Um, but it'd be really awesome if this was like the first great video game movie because we need one desperately. I would say, uh, Hardcore Henry is the best video game movie, even though it's not based off a video game. It reminds I me mean, of Call I of would Duty. Agree with that. Call of Duty a lot. Hardcore Henry was amazing. Yeah. I don't I don't know about Tom Holland cast as Nathan Drake just because he doesn't remind me of I don't I, I never played it but he just doesn't remind me of that character at all. Yeah, he doesn't. They they made a short with uh are you familiar with the actor Nathan Fillion? No, not at all. He he looks exact he looks and sounds exactly like the character and everyone for years has been wanting him to play the character in some sort of like live action thing and and like a year ago they made there was like this fan film that had him as Nathan Drake. And I'm like, why don't you just fucking get him? That's Nathan Drake. He looks and sounds exactly like he is Nathan Drake. Just get him. People probably told him so many times to do it. He's like, fuck it. I'm not doing it anymore. He did this fan film that he probably made no money on. That's all you, that's all you get. I guess. It's, so if this movie sucks, that's all you get. Jesus Christ. It comes out next year, apparently. I mean, I like Tom Holland, so hopefully he'll he'll do well. And I could see him in the shirt and the, with the little ring on his neck. He just he just him. seems too small. That's what that's my he's, he's very little. He's surprised. He's a He's like our age, but he's like a very he's a, he's a little boy. He's a little man. I know. That's why he's Spider Man because Spider Man's supposed to be a little boy. Spider Man boy. Um, next piece of news: the new Avengers game stuff is supposed to drop today, but I haven't seen it yet, so I don't know. It's supposed to come out today. 
uh, more information. Based on what I've heard, though, this is just rumored. It's not confirmed. Is this going to be like a Destiny game? That's what I've heard, which is... I don't think I really like that. I, I would have... I would have preferred like, like a big MMO. open world. Yeah, I would have just preferred like a, a big open world that you could just like create your own superheroes or something, and then you can. It's like multiplayer, and you could just go fuck around with friends and stuff. Like that'd be amazing. I don't want a Destiny like MMO like RPG type thing where you gotta like get I've coins and shit. Like I don't need that. I was gonna say I've heard it's only the main four too. You can only play as Thor. The Hulk. Main four. Thor, Hulk, Cap, and Iron Man. Those are the only four. What? That's not characters. an Avengers game. That's fucking Ultimate Alliance. <laughs> Ultimate Alliance has more characters than that. Yeah, but you could only play it four at a time, though. That's what I'm saying. Because it's supposed to be like a Destiny type game. So why would you need more than four characters? If that's true. Well, Destiny is an online game. You can there can be like several people online at yeah. once. So how do you decide who gets to play which character? Because I don't want to be oh. running around as Cap every time. I do, but. And you, but I don't like, know. You probably like pick in like the the lobbies or whatever. You probably pick. I would have yeah. loved almost like a Lego Marvel game. You just get like a giant list of characters yeah. to pick from. That would but be great. Can, but you can play as multiplayer. The the Lego Marvel games su- surprise the hell out of me because those games are so they're they're these big open worlds that have so many characters and each character has like their own little like they're. They put so much detail into each tiny little character, and you could just do whatever you want. And I'm like, why don't we just have like an actual game like this? It's not made of Legos. Like, why haven't they just done that? And I mean, it's, I the Lego movie is the Lego game is still great. I'm just saying. Yeah, the Lego games are great, but like, I want like an actual like, I want to see like a, a, a Captain America that looks like a man on a Lego. Why don't you make that game? I don't know how to make games. Me neither. If I could, I would. That would be the first thing I made. Oh, hell yeah. I just make a Captain America game. Fuck everyone else. I want Red Dead 2 level detail. Uh, it, doesn't, the- it doesn't have to be that. <laughs> oh, I want that. I game. want to be able to see Steve Rogers' hair glistening in the wind. I mean, we all do. But just make a fun game. As long as the game's fun, I don't care how it looks. I, I don't care for this. Every news piece I hear about this new Avengers game, it gets worse and worse for me. Honestly, and do we know? Do we know if it's connected to Spider Man? Because I know they wanted to do no. like a shared universe thing. It has nothing has come out besides the teaser trailer that came out like two years ago. They're supposed to be coming out dropping stuff today, but like I said, I haven't seen any information yet, so I don't know. Okay, that's why I had it on my list in case I saw it. It'd like, be cool if Spider Man showed up in it and was like, "Hey, remember my game? It was good." Because they made that Spider-Man game, they hit the physics and everything in that game is amazing. It was great. I, I played it last night. It was, it was really good. It's amazing. If they could just make all their games like that, all superhero games like that from now on, it would be amazing. Yeah, I mean, we. Got I would love. I would Arkham love an games. Iron Man game with that kind of detail. Oh, that'd be great. That'd be awesome. I don't care for a Hulk game because there's not much to do. I mean, we've already had Hulk games. I know, and there's not much to do. Same with Thor. Game. What are you going to do with Thor? Thor game? Would be fun. You could. Fly around Asgard and mystical worlds. It could be like a like The Witcher or something. Apparently, that Captain America game that came out on like the PlayStation Two or something was pretty good. PS Three, I played it. It was it was pretty solid. It wasn't great, but it was it was fun. I don't know. I'd never played it. I think I remember you playing it though. I did. It was, it was pretty okay. It I don't was, know. It was like the X Men Origins game. Like it wasn't great, but it was a lot of fun. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard about this though, but uh, have you heard of Project Scarlet? Have you ever heard of it? Isn't that like the code name for the next Xbox? It is. And it just they just announced yesterday it comes out next year. The new Xbox? It does. Is They're, this going to be another like Xbox One something or is this like the next Xbox? It's the next generation is what they've said. Based That's on what I've heard. Strange. So does that mean PlayStation's going to come out with their own? Well, or? I mean when PS4 and Xbox One were coming out, there were Xbox One came out first and then uh PS4 came out. So I don't know like if there, we're going to see like a year gap in between them or if I don't, cause I really don't think the PS five is going to come out next year. I have you seen, doubt that. they have prototype PlayStation five. Have you seen the gameplay on it? It's amazing. I haven't. I don't so, trust any of that stuff because that's all pre-rendered stuff. Yeah. The but they're not going to look like that. They, uh, they tested the Spider-Man, the new Spider-Man game on it and it loads instantly like you know how you do the subways when you fast yeah. travel you don't even see that on that's this. Well, that kind of sucks it, i like those little subway things it just loads too quickly is, it, like, is are these going to be like 600 dollar consoles i have no idea they have the only thing they release is that it comes out next year and they're that's, working on that's kind of crazy 
But I mean, hey, when did the PlayStation out, Four come out? Twenty thirteen. So it's only been like six years. Yeah, I was at least expecting ten because the PlayStation Three was out forever before. PlayStation, came yeah, out. PlayStation Three came out was out for, but I think that's what they're trying to avoid. I think they want to have they want to shorten the life cycles. They want to make them like phones now, where they just come out every like six months. That's annoying. Cause... Which I don't I don't want that at all. No, that, that like let me just get something and have it for like a decade and not have to worry about the next thing for a while. You know? And if they're coming out with that next year, is that mean? The Last of Us 2 is going to be like The Last of Us, the first one. It comes out the end of PlayStation 3's life. And I think that's what out. it's going to be. I think every I think every generation will probably see The Last of, a last of Us game uh, like at the end of it, which I'm fine with. I'm excited for Last of Us 2. Even when though, does that come out? Is there like a set release date for it? I don't know if there's a set release date yet. It might that come out next year. I, even though I've never played the first one, I've seen like three different people you've seen finish me it. play it all I've the way through finish it yes. one playthrough and i've seen my brother finish it all the way through <laughs> but i've never actually played it myself you but should it's play a, it's got some fun gameplay it is it looks fun and the the story is amazing yeah but continuing with the game news uh they released a, uh, a new lego star wars game is going to come out really is this yeah. like continuing the movies it is a game with all nine films. That's how they're promoting it. Okay, because they didn't come out with one with eight. They came out with one with seven. Yeah. Which was pretty okay. I saw the trailer. It just The only thing it showed was the Phantom Menace fight scene, the episode five where he cuts off Luke's hand, and the episode seven where Kylo and... So is this Ray. is this going to be like a original LEGO Star Wars thing where it came out before episode three and spoiled <laughs> episode three for everyone? I have no idea. Because I was coming up before thing. episode nine. I was wondering the same thing. I'm like, episode nine doesn't come out until December. And like, you're already releasing this trailer. When does this game come out? That's what has me worried, even though you don't, I know you don't care I about it. No you don't care about episode nine whatsoever, but. I, I mean, I'm going to see it, but like get done with Star Wars. I don't care. <laughs> like the new, the new Jedi game or whatever. It looks cool, but like, I don't care. I'm done. I don't care. I know you you gave up after uh solo. You were done. Yeah, I I'm finished. I don't I mean I'm gonna get this game, probably. And it'll probably be fun because it's Lego. Yeah, I don't I'm know sure what else. great because all the Lego games are great. I don't know what else to do about it. I don't know if it needs to happen because there's been like four Lego Star Wars games. There was the original, yeah. the the prequels. Lego Star Wars the, then there was the one for the Clone Wars. Which I never played that one. And then they re-released the first two with Complete Saga. And then they made yeah. Episode 7. Like They've had like five games. This will be the sixth one. I mean, the Lego games do well. They're fun. I, I might get it if it looks fun. Do you want to hear some Walking Dead news? <laughs> is this a no. <laughs> this is comic related. Oh, okay. This is potential spoilers, I guess, if you haven't read issue 192. I'm not telling you that, but I'm just letting you know. Nobody cares about anything The Walking Dead anymore, Devin. The comics actually... The Telltale games are done. Nobody cares. The comics still sell pretty well, based on what I know. That's a lie. You're lying. It's not a lie. For a comic, they sell decent. Decent. Okay. And the one of the newest comics, they killed off Rick in the comic. The official. He's dead. He's not coming back. He'll come back. He'll be like Glenn. They'll bring him back. No, it's not the show. They killed him. He's gone. But people are upset on the way he died. How did, how did he die? Did he get his face he, smash? No, some kid shot him, and then he laid in bed and died. <laughs> the Walking Dead's so dumb. Everything about the Walking the comics, the, the TV show, everything. It's so dumb. I don't know why you like this shit. It's so stupid. Like, uh, yeah, it's not a heroic death for him, but like, it's so dumb. Imagine Luke Skywalker just like getting shot in the head and then dying in bed. Like that, that, no. He got shot and he bled out in bed, and then he became a walker, and then Carl shot him, put him down. Ah, so dumb. So now I guess the main character is Carl in the show, Carl. Or in the comic, but it wasn't he supposed to die in the fucking show, and then they he did like, die in the something, show. and then. It was like, oh, he didn't really die, even though he survived an explosion somehow or whatever. In that no, hour. he died. He's dead. Rick's yeah, dead? In in the comic, he's dead. In the show, 
Oh, you're talking about Rick in the show. I thought you were talking yeah, about Carl. Show. I thought you were talking about Carl in the show. No, I know Carl's dead. Now, Rick, uh, he, yeah, he exploded. He somehow a, survived an explosion. He exploded a bridge, and then he showed up at the end of the episode, and he kind of, like, wakes up, and then he gets in a helicopter and flies away. And then uh, he, it's up in the air after that. So dumb. But they're making they're making three movies apparently. Yeah, I've heard that. TV three TV movies it needs to end, and they're all set like two years apart or something. So like it's gonna be like six years of Walking Dead movie. Oh my God. Yeah i I think there should be one movie if anything. I think if, they, there should be no movies and they can just it, end <laughs> this whole fucking TV sh- shit that's going on with the Walking Dead. The TV show has gotten a little better. I since. don't believe that for a second. Epis- or episode season eight was. Awful. It has any show that has more than six seasons is not a good show. If there you can't nine. tell your story in five to six seasons, you're not. No, you don't. That's not a good story. I like the direction it's going, but season eight was bad. I hated. Season I'm sure eight. it was. There was a lot of bad seasons of that show. Season five is great. You need. To watch season five. I'm not just gonna watch one season. You can. It'll it'll work out for yourself. It is amazing. No, nope. I think I think you would love some of the cinematography in it, but because it's, sure, I mean, it's a good looking show, but like I just the CG the is point. bad. I don't know if you've ever seen the CG deer in that show, but it's bad. I have. I've seen it's that. I've, seen, I've seen pictures of it and stuff, and it looks dumb. It is terrible. All right, you ready for some DC stuff? I know this is what you're waiting for. Shoot, let's go. All right, DCEU total reboot official. What do you think? <sighs> this is weird. It makes sense. And I this is all happening way like too fast. Like the jump from Dark Knight Rises to the DCEU was really fast. And now they're already talking about just doing it again while the universe is still going. Like the last, the last official slated movie. For the DCEU is Aquaman 2. What about that trench movie that they were going to do? That like spin off? Is that still? It was scrapped. Apparently, it's not happening. Okay, good because that sounds weird. But so yeah. Aquaman 2. So we're not getting Shazam 2, I guess. Nope. Jesus Christ. If we are, <laughs> if, if we are, <laughs> the after credit scene of Shazam 2 was pointless because that's set up for a sequel. The if we do get a Shazam 2, it doesn't take place within the DCEU. So <laughs> okay. What about Black Adam? Isn't there? They found a director for Black Adam. Is that? They did. Um, Is that not yeah. in the DCEU anymore? I don't know because they said I've heard that Aquaman two is the last slated movie and it comes out after Wonder Woman eighty four or whatever. But uh, the director for the new Black Adam movie was is Juan call it Sierra. I don't know how to pronounce that, but they made the sha- she made the Shallows or he he oh she. Yeah, that's not good. That's the only notable film that I saw that. They have made. <laughs> I don't believe this movie's coming out. You can apparently it still can, has The Rock in it too, which is I don't odd. believe that for a damn second. Even I though he was cast that. like three years ago, he he's been that. cast probably like longer than Ben Affleck was as Batman. Like he's been cast for like years now. We're not gonna see him as Black Adam. We're I would not love to see him in a Shazam movie. It's not gonna. Ha- I don't think this movie's happening. You can ca- you can put a director on it all you want, but. You know, the Flash movie had like writers and directors attached to it, and that's gone now. So I mean, if the D, if Warner Brothers was smart, I think they could do both if they really wanted to a shared universe and individual films. I mean, I mean yeah, they they were talking about doing some kind of multiverse thing, and I've heard rumors that Wonder Woman eighty four is kind of going to be like Flashpoint in some kind of way, where they're going to like introduce like multiple realities or whatever, and that's fine, I guess. But it's just like I all I want is an MCU type thing where we have a Batman longer than like three movies. I just want like one consistent Batman that just like pops in and out of like other people's movies and stuff. Like I think that would be cool to tell. That's what you want. Yeah. I just want like some kind of through line of continuity. I I don't want, it doesn't have to be like this big grand thing. Just make a Batman movie and then make a Justice League movie and then just like continue that Batman for like 10 years. Like just, I'm sick of all these. We've had like five or six Batman in our lifetime. And we're going to get more. Like, just have Robert Pattinson be Batman for, like, the next decade. Like, just leave him. But he's not going to be in the DCEU, so it doesn't matter. I don't care. He's got, he's got a trilogy planned, apparently. Which, that pisses me off. Just make one movie. We don't need another trilogy. It's not going to be better than the Dark Knight trilogy. 
I mean, it could be. It's anything. Not. Anything could happen. It's not. It, it'll. I'm sure it, it could be good, but it's not going to be the Dark Knight trilogy. There has been six villains apparently planned for this trilogy too. Oh, and, for the trilogy. I thought you meant yeah. the, the Batman. I was like, Jesus. For the Batman trilogy, <laughs> I think the Penguin is in the new one, the first one. Yeah, they Penguin and Catwoman were Catwoman. That's what. Yeah, that was the other one. Which I guess is fine. I just haven't we already? We haven't. I mean, why don't we get new stuff? What's That's, what's happening? I mean, I want to see Deathstroke. We, yeah, they tease Deathstroke at the end of Justice League, and I guess we're just not going to see him now. Which sucks. All these all these teases at the end of DCEU movies just aren't going to. None of this stuff matters anymore. It's like X Men. It's just ah, it's just stuff. <laughs> None of it matters anymore. It's just stuff. Yeah. Stuff you know. That's all. Which, like, that's all it is now. Which sucks because Deathstroke looked amazing. He looked great. Then. I don't know how. I don't, who was the? I don't know the actor. Joe Mangello is what I call him because I don't know how to pronounce his last name. He was in. He was the original Flash Thompson in the Spider Man movies. Oh God. And that, he, he's he's done other stuff than that. I don't. He he's like an actual actor, but that's. Would he movie. have been good as Deathstroke? If I, I think he would have been a fine. I mean, Deathstroke. It's the same thing with Batman, where for some reason people have it in their heads that Batman's like this intricate character that you need like top class, like A list actors to play. To play Batman, you just gotta be moody and grumpy all the fucking time. Play Deathstroke, you just gotta be a badass. Like he he would have been fine. I mean, I'm not asking for like Idris Elba or anything. Like put, me, Elba put me in a Deathstroke play. outfit and I'd do a fine job. They should just make a DCE with Idris Elba as the main character for. Well, he's character. rumored to be in. He well, he's in Suicide Squad two. And he's not. But playing, we don't know who he is. He's though. not playing. What's his face? Deadshot. Yeah. Yeah. He's there's rumors that he's gonna be Bronze Tiger, which is like all right. The I dumbest, guess. the dumbest character in the DC universe. I guess, I guess. he should have just been like John Stewart or something. That like, character know. should be a TV show character, if anything. Bronze Tiger. I, he was. He was on Arrow. That character See? was on Arrow. There you go. Just leave it there. Don't bring him. Don't bring him to the big screen. Nobody cares about that character. They're going because that's the whole point of the Suicide Squad. Where, is all these D-list. Where the fuck is Martian Manhunter? That's why I, I want. I don't know. I had a theory that Martian Manhunter was in both Man of Steel and Batman vs Superman, and I guess now they're just not going to have him in the movie at all. I know you've been wanting to see Martian Manhunter for like years now because he's never been on the big screen, and I want to see him. He hasn't. I want to see him too. I want him to be obsessed with Oreos like he is in the comics. That probably wouldn't happen because that's just weird. Oreos. That and maybe they wouldn't get the rights to Oreos. Who knows? Well, they're not actual Oreos in the comics, but they look exactly like Oreos. Just call them something else. Call them Poopios or something. I don't know. That that's a terrible name. You should not do advertising. Poopios. <laughs> um, there is, for this total reboot, they have a Supergirl movie planned for next year. Yeah. And do you is, have any? Is the Joker like? A part of this new I, universe that they want to do? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck. Because I think if they on. do that, I think if, if they started with the Joker, because I have I have this whole thing in my head where it's like I don't want to like say it if because if it comes true, then it's I guess it's a spoiler. But like the Joker could be like the start, and then maybe the Batman like references it, and maybe the we could see a new Joker that kind of is inspired by the original Joker, which is Joaquin Phoenix, and like you could have this kind of like cool like gotham universe that they could build with it but like i don't think it is and i think it's just like its own thing which is much, fine but i'd like to see some kind of continuity to it how much of the joker movie do you think he's actually going to be the joker i think a fair amount i don't think he, we're going to see like a lot of the joker but it from what i've seen from that trailer it looks like we're going to get a fair amount of it i mean i feel like it's going to be all build up i think if it's movie. two hours we'll probably get like an hour of the joker probably I say forty-five minutes. I don't think we're gonna see forty-five minutes of him as a joke. That's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking. Now, if that's... if it's like an hour and forty-five minutes, we'll get thirty minutes. Well, yeah, if it's an hour and forty-five minutes, we're gonna get like ten minutes of the joke. But, but they're I, gonna, I think it's they're gonna, gonna stretch like that shit out to two hours. If they... Yeah, it's gonna be at least like two hours. It's gonna be a feature film. A feature film can be an hour and forty-five minutes. When was the last feature film that was an hour? The comedies the sh- all the time. The Shallows. Oh, that was even an hour and a half. No, it wasn't. It was this movie's out to Justice League was like an hour and fifty. Like, and they cut out like an hour of that movie. Yeah, they did. Which is weird. They cut out like two hours of that movie. I I don't understand that. That movie is bad. It's all business. I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it at that. 
do you have a preference for who you want cast as Supergirl? I mean, I like the the girl they have in the show. I haven't watched Supergirl. I've heard it's like cheesy, like dumb fun, and I would like to check it out at some point. I, and I like that actress that they have as Supergirl. I, there's not really like, I don't know of any like young like blonde actresses Scarlett that Johansson. play. I mean, yeah, get Scarlett Johansson <laughs> and everything. She's a little too old, I think. Not that she's like old, but she doesn't for... strike me as an alien that can fly. I don't know why. Oh, she definitely strikes me as like a secret agent lady. Oh yeah, but, but she's like, not a super powered alien that could destroy a building. That's not what she strikes no, me. No, I couldn't see that. I think maybe like Chloe Moretz could do it. Really? Phone's oh. I mean, she's she's like the only like blonde actress that I can that comes to mind, like a blonde young actress that I can think of. What is she, has she been in anything recently? Who Chloe Moretz? She made some movie with Ansel Elgort like not too long ago. She's been in stuff. She made just some movie. It wasn't. It wasn't anything big. It was a. I mean, it was a movie. I didn't see it. <laughs> it was. A, I hope it was a movie, and it wasn't like a sketch or something. It was, it was a movie. It was at least ninety minutes. It was at least ninety. Minutes. But I, it's weird that like we're not gonna have a Superman. Like, are they? Is the Supergirl just gonna be the new Superman? Like, I don't know. I, I, I told Superman. you. I don't know what Warner Brother has going on. I, I hope it's a. Either. I hope it's a good plan, because they have some sketchy business going on. I don't think they have any idea what they're doing either. <laughs> um, they also have officially cast Colin Farrell as Far- Farrell, Colin Farrell. Farrell. Sorry, uh, will be Constantine in a new solo. And movie. this is official. It's official. He has been That's cast. Dope as hell. I haven't seen. I've I've been meaning to watch the Constantine movie with Keanu Reeves. I've heard it's like very like different from the comics, and that's fine. But I've heard good things about it. But Colin Farrell is dope as hell. I love Colin Farrell. And him as Constantine being all I'm Constantine bleh, could be awesome. What do you? What are they gonna do in this movie? I don't know Ooh, Constantine the character that much, but isn't he like a weird? Like he's, he's like, like a, a he's like a wizard man. He's like a like a he does like dark magic shit. Is he like Doctor Strange? Sort of, but he smokes a lot. And he's got a dope trench coat, and he's blonde. So they're gonna have to die con Pharaoh's hair. Like, would this movie like take place on Earth or is it like a? It could Other... take place on Earth. It could it could take place in some weird dimension. I'm not like I don't know like all of Constantine's lore, so I don't I don't know if there's because this weird, this like, could be the first DC or... movie that doesn't take place on Earth. Uh... I don't know if there has there been a DC movie that doesn't take place on Earth. I mean, we've seen Krypton, but that, that whole movie that didn't take whole place. movie didn't take place on a different planet. Uh, Marvel's I don't think got... we've seen. I don't think we've seen an entire DC movie. Marvel's got Guardians team. of the Galaxy going Looks on, like and as part of Captain. I don't Marvel. know what Const- like where would Constantine be if he wasn't on Earth? Again, I don't know a whole lot about a different dimension. Like, I don't know. That'd be fine. I, hey, make this movie as weird and trippy as you fucking want. Make the just make it weird. I don't care if this movie's good. Just make it weird. <laughs> well, it's terrible, but it's make it like, weird. Like the it's- scenes in Doctor Strange when he's like tripping balls and he's like going through all these weird. Just make that for two hours. I'd be totally fine with that. I don't care if it's the worst movie ever made. As long as it's weird, it'll be good to me. Hey, that's... Yes. DC is, for some reason, they're opposed to doing weird shit. Do weird stuff. Do more. They do the same shit over and over again, which is why I'm worried about this total reboot, because I feel like it's just not going to change. I think... Well, no, I think what they're going to do, they're just going to make it like Marvel, because that's what Justice League was. Justice League was trying desperately to be like Marvel, and they're just going to... Hey, we're fun and goofy. Hey, we know jokes. We're funny. But like, what happened to that serious tone they started out with? They're just gonna get rid of it. Just phase it out. They're just, they, they've already done that. Even though they did, ter- they did it terribly. First of all, because well, yeah, because you, you don't just jump from that. You don't yeah, just. They didn't. They didn't do it slowly. They just jumped off the cliff with it. There was yeah no, because they're desperate to make money and be like Marvel. There was no phasing slowly. It was just. That's like pure. that's like jumping from the Dark Knight to the Adam the first Adam West movie. Like what? <laughs> I mean, there was a little in between that. I mean, there was Suicide movies. Squad, but Suicide Squad's a mess, also. So I mean, is that considered dark tone? No, Suicide Squad's a goofy nonsense mess. Exactly. But if you watch the original trailer for Suicide Squad, it looks dark as hell and it looks <laughs> awesome. And then they were like, "Oh, Guardians of the Galaxy made." Money. Yeah, <laughs> we got to. It's got to be great. Yeah, that's most. Of, that's all the DC news I have. You got anything on your end for the DC stuff? That's pretty much all I got. 
There hasn't been a lot of news on this. They just kind of said they're rebooting, and then that was it. They haven't. Yeah, well, it. It was, oh, and DC's not going to be a Comic Con. They're not going to do that all H thing, which is fine. Like, does anybody? Because Marvel doesn't do Comic Con anymore. Does anyone like? Care I don't know. Comic-Con anymore? I, I have no idea. I don't go to. I've never been to Comic Con, so I don't. I couldn't tell you what goes on there. Also, Swamp Thing got canceled. I saw that. I didn't. Fascinating. It, how many episodes have they made? I think it, it, originally the first season was supposed to be thirteen. But I think they've only put out like nine or ten. I think they're just not even going to like put out the rest of the episodes. Which that sucks because I I don't know if I'd care, but it looked good. Swamp Thing looked awesome. I saw a couple like pre roll like trailers on YouTube. It looks awesome. Like I and I've heard that like Titans and uh, Doom Patrol are also great shows. They look cheap as hell though, so that probably bugged me. Titans, but I've heard they're I, awesome. I was gonna say Titans the. That show didn't look good. It didn't look good at all. But apparently, I remember the initial good. trailers coming out, and everyone was like, "Ugh." Yeah, <laughs> it looks really cheap. What but was I, that? people love it. I, I, I want to get the DC Universe app and check it out and check out some of these shows and see if they are actually good. Swamp Thing would have been the thing to get me to get the show because it looks dope. And then they go ahead and cancel it. And I've heard there's there's apparently like talks that like HBO might want to pick it up or something. Which if it's on HBO, fuck, I'm watching that shit. <laughs> I mean, they just canceled Game of Thrones, so they got to get... Oh, they didn't gotta cancel. Get the, the, the Swamp Thing is going to be the next big thing. Yeah, Swamp Thing is going to be the next this, Breaking this Bad. This D-list character that nobody's ever heard of. Uh, <laughs> do they have... Are there other shows planned, or are they canceling all their shows? I think they had one more show. I think they were doing Stargirl next. They're going to make a whole show about Stargirl? Why the fuck would they do that? I don't know. They, why, why would you have a Doom Patrol show? Nobody knows who the hell Doom Patrol is. I mean, is. I guess... I mean, I'm fine with them doing all these weird shows as long as they're not Arrow. There's been like ten seasons of Arrow. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's eight, and thankfully they've ended it because Arrow. I don't, I don't like Arrow. He's he's the hawk. He's just Hawkeye. That's all he he's, is. He's a knockoff Batman. That's what he is. He's the Batman of the CW verse or whatever the hell that, that universe is called. Is Bat Batman's not in that universe, is he? No, but Batwoman is for some reason. There's no Batman. Well, apparently Batman like exists because they've made reference to him. But I don't think we're ever going to see him in the show. But we're going to see Batwoman because she's got a show coming out. There's too many fucking shows. I can't. I can't watch them all. Yeah, I'm no, too far behind now watch. that I'm not going to watch them. And then Jessica Jones. I got to watch that when it comes out. It comes out in what four days? It's not the fourteenth. It's not four days. Are you serious? I think so. Jesus. And it's actually going to have an end. Do you think it'll it'll be a good ending? <laughs> or how do you I don't think know. it will? I mean, the Punisher, the way Punisher season two ended it, the that made me laugh when I saw it because it looked like they reshot it just because they knew they were gonna get canceled. Because it's literally just a shot of John Bernthal just like pointing at the keys, pointing guns at a camera, and he's just screaming like that. That looked like they could have shot that like the day before this premiered. I don't they know. Probably did because they, they probably, probably did. they probably got the information. Hey, you're getting canceled. <laughs> we need to finish this now. <laughs> don't set up. Don't set up something like Daredevil did. Well, Daredevil had a good ending, I think. Yeah, but it set up like, oh, there could be more. It did. Bullseye, Bullseye's still alive. But out of all of these Netflix shows, I feel like Daredevil, of all of them, would be the one to get rebooted in like a couple years. Like, bring it back. I feel like Disney would be smart enough to like put it on Hulu and bring Punisher it back. Punisher probably will, too. Dead, dead nah, I'll leave that show in the grave. That show sucks. People love that show. Though. I don't care what other people think. It's my, been my mediocre. My opinion is the only one that matters. It's been mediocre. It's it, not. Uh, season 2 started off pretty great, but then it I don't think it's bad, but I don't think it's Daredevil. The show as a whole, when you only have like three or four good episodes of a show, it's a bad show. It's just too long. It's a bad show. I'm tired of these 13 episode shows. <laughs> yeah, they need to quit doing it. Make them eight. Make it Defenders and just make it eight episodes. That would be great, but they, you know, they're not going to do that because they're dumb. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of watching these filler episodes. They're bullshit. You gotta have, that's why I don't like TV shows. You got to have all this filler. Breaking Bad's the only one that didn't have any filler episodes. And if they did do filler episodes, they were good. It had one, and it's my favorite episode of the whole show. <laughs> um, since we're into Marvel now, uh, and we're in the TV series. That's our transition into Marvel. Yeah, that's I guess. I, I don't guess know. That makes sense. There was nothing else for me to talk about DC unless you have something else, like I said. No, that's that's all I got. We can continue with the TV series. There is an official picture, not an official picture, but a set photo leak for the new Loki show. And it's, it's photo leak. What is it? It's kind of interesting. There, you can't really see much. You see Tom. I think it's Tom Hiddleston. I I don't know for sure if it was him. 
but you see him in the set. But there's also in the background a Jaws theater being played. So this, like, that makes me like it, the, like like the movie Jaws. Yeah, playing in the theater. So that makes me think this movie takes place in the seventies. Well, I mean, he, at the, the end of TV. Endgame, he got the Tesseract. I think it's just going to be him hopping around at different time periods, just like fucking around. Tesseract doesn't let you travel through time. He can go to different dimensions and stuff. That's time. That can bend time and shit. He can go to different dimensions. It's a portal through space. And I mean, it's playing Jaws. It's not like they, that wouldn't happen nowadays. Like it looked, it looked like it takes place in the seventies. Was it At like least, all like set up like the seventies? Yeah. Maybe it does. Who knows? I don't know. Why? Why though? Because wasn't that the plot of the show? Was that he was just going to be like Loki through time, just like I fucking around? Time? I have not heard any plot reveals. I've heard plot leaks. I don't know if they're true. Because that'd be really interesting if that was the plot. I don't know. I, that's that's a weird thing. I don't know if this is going off the end game thing or if they're just making their own thing and saying, fuck whatever happened in end game. It'd be smart because end game set it up pretty well. I think it'd be smart if they. But the directors, Joe and Anthony Ruto, said they weren't thinking about the future. They just did shit because they wanted to. <laughs> they, they also say a lot of dumb shit that they lie about. They've lied about stuff in the past that turned out to be true. So I don't I don't trust a word that those brothers say anymore. I mean, they said that they're done with Marvel for now. That's unless, a lie. Unless Secret Wars comes out anytime. We'll do Fantastic soon. Four. Actually, there has been rumors for the Fantastic Four director. Have you heard about that? Who who is it? Peyton Reed wants to do it. Really? Yes, the Ant Man. Ant Man. I think I don't director. hate Peyton Reed. He Ant Man. I like Ant Man one and Ant Man and the Wasp. I think those are fine. I think you need someone with like a little bit more like style to them. Not that Peyton Reed's like boring or anything, but you need like a Guy Ritchie, someone who's just got this like weird out there style. Because the thing, the problem with the Fantastic Four movies that we have now is that they're all just kind of like, Bleh. they're just kind of whatever. So well, you, the thing, you need like some kind of weird kind of tone to it. The thing is, he was rumored to direct the very first Fantastic Four movie, not the 90s one but the, the Jesse one. Alba and yeah one. he was gonna direct that but he talked to Fox about it and Fox was like we're doing this shit you're not doing whatever you want to do so he's like no I'm done I'm not doing that wow but uh there's rumors that it's gonna come out in 2022 and it's gonna take place in the 60s it's gonna take place in the 60s in the 60s yes. so how old are these people gonna be well it's apparently this is why I think they want Peyton Reed. It's going to deal with the quantum tunnel stuff. Oh, they're going to get sucked through time. I guess. But, Whoa. The, but also, since it takes place in the '60s, they want to put Black Knight in it and stuff like that. Was Black Knight I, in the '60s? Was I don't Black know. Knight like medieval. That's what I thought. I know there's but, been like three of them, but like that's what I. This is stuff I've heard that Peyton weird. Reed wants to do if he directs. I guess. That's, I don't know. I mean, if they're, I guess if they're doing the quantum stuff, they could just pull anybody at a time, I guess. True. Which, I don't know if that's a good first movie for the Fantastic Four. That, yeah, that's a little much. I feel I'd like that should be a like, second, introduce third. them for like the first movie. Just, hey, I'm wacky Johnny Storm. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, I could see it working. I could totally see it working. But Yeah, I can see it working, but it, that's an odd first movie. Hey, we're going through the quantum realm, and we're going to get sucked into modern day. Like, that's a little weird. Just keep it in the 60s. Do, like, a first-class thing. Just have the first movie just be in the 60s. But like, I'm totally fine with that. That, that sounds awesome. But then they're just breaking this timeline that they're creating with Iron Man being the first superhero, and then Captain Marvel was they before that. They already did that with Captain Marvel. I know, but, but then you're going to do it again. Thing, though, but they wouldn't be superheroes, necessarily. If they're just, like, these weird, wacky scientists who just got in an accident, and then they were like, "Hey, we got to keep this shit se secret because people are gonna like, blah, they're gonna come after us and blah blah blah." Gonna, they're gonna be doing shit under wraps. How are you gonna keep the thing a secret? Just block them in a. Basement. I mean, they did that in Fan Four Stick. They were like in a lab the whole movie. That was Fan Four Stick. The movie's awful. Yeah, yeah. What if they just made a Fan Four Stick that was good? Like, Don't, what if they I just do that? Do not take any elements from Fan Four Stick ever. It's a bad movie. Because that that like you could I could see that happening. Like they get these powers and they're just like we gotta like keep this shit secret. The only thing I want from this new Fantastic Four movie is don't put Doctor Doom in it. Oh, Doctor Doom's about. definitely going to be in it. He could be in it. Just don't make him the main villain. He's definitely going to be the main villain. No, don't do that. Who's going to be the? Are you going to get Mole Man? I don't. You could do anybody. Just don't. don't do I want to see Mole Man. If if it's the sixties, Mole Man would actually be perfect. If it takes place in the sixties, just go balls to the wall crazy with it and get Mole Man. You could reference it. You never know. Does it mean that he'll be the main villain? I want Mole Man. 
I don't know. I don't know about this taking place in the 60s stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, that sounds... I don't understand all these, like, period piece superhero movies. Why is every movie... Like, apparently the Batman's supposed to take place in the 90s. Like, why? Why does every movie have to take place, like, oh, the 60s and the 70s and the 80s and the 90s? Like, just have it set now. Like, who gives a shit? We're all living in the past. That's why. I guess. Yeah, I don't I don't know about all that, because... I really don't know about Peyton Reed directing it either. He's not confirmed to direct it, but he wants to. Which he would he be the first? No, I guess the Russos directed two different movies within the yeah. MCU. Still, I mean, I probably I prefer someone like Taika Waititi to direct this. I know I have problems with Ragnarok, but Fantastic Four Ragnarok. should be a little bit more goofy and silly and out there. Like it should be a little bit more comedy. Then I think he would honestly, he he would have been a better fit for Fantastic Four than Thor. I feel. What's uh, what's the actor's name who played in the new Hellboy? What's his name? David Harbor. Yeah, he's expressed that he wants to play the Thing. There's rumors that he's going to be the Thing in Black Widow because he's in Black Widow, which would be weird to introduce that character in yeah, Black I'd, Widow. That's strange. No, I don't want that. That'd be odd. Because he's in that movie, and if he wants to play it, that he's probably going to play it. Why would he do it in that movie? That'd just be weird. I don't know. Why are, why are we getting a Black Widow movie that apparently takes place like in between Civil War and Infinity War? That's weird. I think it could be good. I mean, I'm sure it'll be fine, but it's just, that's a weird setting to do it. There's been... It, it comes out next year, right? Black Widow? Yeah. I think so. It's the, first, it's the first movie of Phase 4, so it has to come out next year sometime. I think it comes out in May next year. Probably. That sounds about right. Yeah, they they've done a lot of filming already. There's been a lot of set leaks. Yeah, they say it's mostly just Scarlett Johansson just walking around. I don't. I really don't know what that movie is going to be about. I don't know the story at all. I don't either. Have I'm you sure seen that? Movie. Have you seen the new mo- trailer for Anna? I think it's called Anna. Yeah, they showed it before John Wick. Yeah, I feel like it should be like that. I don't know why. Just that's like what a, I, that's what I, I I think that would be cool if it's just like a dope action movie with Black Widow. Like that'd be cool. But I don't think they're gonna do that. I think it'll be. What do you think it's going to be? It better not be a rom-com. That actually would be pretty funny. Rom-com with her and the Hulk? That would be pretty fun. I, they better not use the Hulk in that movie. <laughs> no, he's, he, he was gone. He's up in space. Oh, yeah, that's right. Board. That's right. Because uh, Mark Ruffalo still has a, one movie on his contract. Don't waste it on that movie. <laughs> he has one movie? I thought he said he was like done after Indian. He says he's done, but he still has one movie on his contract. doesn't matter what the fuck he Mark says. Ruffalo. Always lying. Uh, Chris Hemsworth has said he wants to come back, but he's actually taking a break before that. Yeah, I've heard he's like quitting acting to watch his kids or whatever. I'm like, All he's right. not. He's he's taking a break. He's not quitting. He's taking a break. Uh, whatever. Which makes sense because if they do Guardians two or Guard, Guardians two Guardians three in like what four years? I mean, it's a good break. Is it, is that movie coming out in four years? They say he can't start it until he finishes Suicide Squad. So. When does Suicide Squad come out? Like 2021. Jesus Christ. So he'll start it in 2021 and it'll probably come out in 2022. Are, is, is, are, are superhero movies still going to be like a, like the new, like the cool thing in four, like four years from now? Like yeah. are people going to care? Imagine how, imagine that uh, distance in between those Guardians 2 and Guardians That's 3. Insane. Guardians 2 came out in what, 2017? Yeah. Jesus Christ. It's going to be like almost a decade before we got a sequel. It'll be what? If it comes out in 2022, it'll be five years in between God. the second and third one. But I guess you can put Infinity War in the middle of that. Cause I mean, Infinity War is kind of a Guardians movie, but it's not really. Infinity War is kind of a every superhero movie, if you it's really want it, except for Cap. But yeah, Cap's in it for like five minutes. Cap, Endgame is Cap's movie. All of them are Cap's movie because he's the best Avenger, you son of a bitch. He's the most... Noble. He's not the best Avenger. He's the best Avenger. You shut your mouth. No, he's not the best Avenger whatsoever. Um, there's actually uh, the next Phase Four movie, The Eternals. There's been some news about that. You want you want to hear some of this? Keanu Reeves is in it, right? He wants to be in it. He hasn't been cast. <laughs> I want to be in Eternals. He doesn't know he, Keanu Reeves' voice. He wants to play the main dude. I forget his the actual character's name. 
the the main eternal dude and then he wants to start with angelina jolie who i think has actually been cast yeah she's now. been officially cast in it. isn't the yeah. main dude in eternals isn't he gay weren't they supposed weren't they supposedly looking for like a gay actor to play this gay character like, know, reeves anyway? can play a gay guy yeah but weren't wasn't the whole thing was that they were looking for like a gay actor because you can't you can't act anymore you have to have to you have to That's be the thing that you play stupid if keanu reeves fits the build and let him play if the character keanu reeves is gonna be in it i want him to shave that beard there's also a possibility yeah. that we get a uh, young Thanos in that movie. Yeah, I've, I've I heard that. That's weird. Kind of let Thanos rest for a little bit. That's not weird. The, in the comics, he is an Eternal. That I know, is... but when is Eternals coming out? Like two years from now? Comes out next? No, it got pushed back. So yeah, two years. Two years from now, Thanos just died. Like, let him rest for a little bit. I don't want to see that fucker for like a while. And if we do see a young Thanos, so when does this movie take place? I think it takes place like thousands of years, like in the past, from what I've heard. Hmm. Which is Stan- interesting. Is Thanos that fucking old? Thanos is pretty old. I mean, he's I know a, he's about the same age as Robert Downey Jr. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty damn old. <laughs> pretty old. Um, because I know Thor is like what fifteen hundred years old or something. Probably, yeah. Thanos is, yeah, Thanos is for sure older. He's he sounds like a sixty-year-old Josh Brolin, but he's like a million years old. If I were just heard Josh Brolin speaking behind me, I would be terrified because yeah, because it's Josh Brolin. It's Josh Brolin, and he's he's been two awesome characters in Marvel. He's movies. also he was also Jonah Hex in uh, the DC universe. So shut your mouth. He, I've never seen that movie. It's so a bad movie. You. Don't see. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you feel about the Eternals? How do you uh, feel? About I mean, it? it's interesting. I hope it's not. I kind of hope Marvel tones down the comedy stuff. Because I feel like after Guardians, they're just like, oh, people like goofy shit. Let's just make every movie goofy. Because this I, could easily just turn into another Guardians. And I kind of don't want that. That's what I was thinking it could be. What if they get James Gunn to direct? <laughs> no, I don't want that. Make it make it like a different... Like, I was thinking sort of Guardians, but if Guardians was like serious. Which probably sounds really boring, but I think that's probably what they should do with Eternal. I like, maybe have like a- one funny character. Because I think they they have a comedian that's attached to the movie as well, so maybe have like one comedic relief guy, but don't just have the whole movie just oh we're goofy space people. I don't want. I that. just want an awesome space adventure. I don't care if it's funny or what. I, care. I thought I thought Captain Marvel was going to be more space stuff, but it wasn't, so I was a little disappointed by it. Yeah, I I, I I want some more space stuff. It was like 10, 10 minutes in space, and then the rest was of the a little time. bit. That was a little bit space. I want to see Hala. They introduced Hala and fucking uh, Captain Marvel, and we saw it for like five seconds. I've heard rumors that Captain Marvel two is going to take place in the past again, and it's going to be her. Why doing shit in space between those planets and stuff like that? What? What? I want to know what the hell she was doing during Endgame. What was so goddamn important that she couldn't come down and fight Thanos? Why does she get that dumb haircut? <laughs> I want to know these things. It doesn't look that bad. It's dumb. It's not the 90s anymore. That's a dumb fucking haircut. She's still living in the past. But she's in the present. Did you know that uh, they cut out, I think they cut out a scene of Captain Marvel in Vormir in in Endgame, which is odd, I think. Why would she be in Vormir? I don't know, because there's a set photo of Brie Larson in the Vormir set. So I don't, and she had long hair. So I don't know if this is past Captain Marvel that showed up in Vormir and they got they cut it out or something. That might have been it. That would have been weird, though. Well, I've also heard that Thanos attacked Vormir before Scarlett Johansson jumped off. So maybe she was there fighting Thanos or something. I don't he know. Attacked Vormir? He did, yeah. Because he knew he, he figured out they movie. were. Are you saying this is like a deleted thing? Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Oh, like okay. they, they cut all this shit out. The movie. They cut all this shit out. That's interesting. I don't. I don't know what I, we'll have to wait until the Blu-ray comes out so we can see these deleted scenes. Yeah, that's interesting. There's a lot of deleted scenes apparently in Captain Marvel that I will watch when it comes out tomorrow because that movie comes on Blu-ray it's tomorrow. tomorrow. Blu-ray? Yeah, you oh, get it. Yeah. I'm gonna get it at some point because I'm, I'm getting get it. all of them. And then I'm probably gonna get it tomorrow now. while I'm at work. I don't know if I'm gonna get it tomorrow though. so I can. Complete my collection again. Well, it's not complete because you're still gonna get in game. Well, I mean, in game's not out, so I can't complete it. But it's obviously. not complete yet. It, 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 I gotta get far from home too because that's a phase three movie. Yeah, 
Speaking of far from home, <laughs> it was a nice segue. There was that was a nice segue. Um, there's apparently a big Tony Stark secret within that movie. Jesus Christ! I've been. This is the problem. I've been dreading this because there. Were, I saw. I haven't seen any of the most recent trailers because I don't like Sony trailers because they show the whole fucking movie. But I saw someone on Instagram. And they posted like a picture from one of the trailers of him with like Tony Stark's glasses, and he's like putting yeah. them on. I was like, I hope to God they don't like have some kind of AI Tony Stark that's like where he's like the new Jarvis now. I hope to God they don't somehow find a way to inject Tony Stark in this movie. And this sounds like that might be that. I don't I have no idea what this big secret is. I I really don't think Robert Downey Jr. filmed anything for this, but he may have. I don't know. Well, I mean, he probably didn't like he wasn't on set for anything, but I mean in this day and age, you don't really have to be on set for anything. Like, if he's like a hologram, you could do that on a green screen and just ship it to somebody. Or True. if he's doing voiceover, you know, he, he's in, he's not actually on set. True. Um, there's a, this is gonna like irk you so much. <laughs> I, I know it will. Because, um, so there was a IMDb thing listing all the cast for Far From Home, mm -hmm. and Chris Evans is cast as a cameo. For Captain, I mean America. that in Far From Home. Yes, I mean it depends on what context. If he's actually in the movie, like doing stuff, that's a little weird, and I don't like that. But if it's another like goofy, like hey, I want to videotape, uh, like doing stuff, that's that's fine. what I hope it is. That's I hope it's another that. videotape. Those are hilarious, and I think that's that's awesome. Which I don't even think he would need to. They probably have multiple of those. Oh, they I, apparently them. they shot like a bunch of them on the uh, Spider-Man Homecoming Blu-ray. There's like extras that they didn't even put in the. Actually, oh, yeah, I'm I've, sure I've they seen them. They'll just reuse another one. I've seen those. They're all hilarious. They're all pretty fine. I'd be fine. I'd be fine if, if it's that. But if he's like actually in the movie, like, hey, Spider Man, I'm an old man now. That's weird. I was gonna say, what if it's Old Man Cap? <laughs> I want to see that. Is old, I want to know what happens with Old Man Cap. Is he just gonna like sit on that bench until he's dead? Like what? What if Far From Home opens with his grave, like he died? Oh my god. It'd be a little a dark opening for us. That man. would be weird though, because doesn't Far From Home take place like minutes after Endgame? I think it takes place like immediately after Endgame. Supposedly. I was gonna say that'd be kind of weird, unless it does like a another time a jump hack and kills over immediately after Endgame. It could have another time jump with another eight movie. year time jump. Because now the MCU is what currently in 2023 or something. That's yeah, when I it takes so, place yeah. because of Endgame. So. I feel like they could do. They could easily just make a bunch of space movies in between the, these years, and then come back and. Oh Earth. yeah, I would love to see. Like, I hate that they brought back Gamora, and I kind of was hoping that Guardians Three would just take place like in between Infinity War and Guardians Two, because there's like four years in between there where it's just like, what the hell are they doing for four years? Like, I, and I would love to just like fill in that gap of just like, what the hell are they doing? I wanted to see, just have them go on some random space adventure. Like I'd be totally fine. With that. Nah, because Thor's got to be in Guardians Three. He doesn't man. have to be. I mean, he does now because they set it up. But before Endgame, he didn't have to be. I mean, he doesn't have to. I guess he could. They could just be like, "Hey, I dropped Thor off at this place." Yeah, I dropped him off at what used to be Asgard. Oh God! Now I'm blown up. <laughs> it's just pubble. It pubbles. Pebbles. Pubbles. They're all pubbles. It's, it's big pebbles. They're pubbles. Pubbles. I would love to see some more space shit. I don't know what they do besides Eternals and Guardians. But. Well, isn't didn't they say Phase Four was supposed to be like mostly space stuff? Didn't they say they were going to do a lot more space? I don't know. We can get I, Silver Surfer, dude. Hell yeah, they got Silver Surfer, boy. Just make a Galactus movie. Just a movie about Galactus. hell yeah, Silver Surfer, Galactus, and Nova. I would love a Nova movie. Boom, do I've, that. I've heard that's rumored, but we got to get Black Panther two and Ant Man three. I guess we have, we don't have to get any of those. Ant Man and Wasp two. I want I want Nova. Captain Marvel two. Captain Marvel made a billion dollars, so they got to make another one of those. More more mediocre movies. They got to make. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to rewatching Captain Marvel because I'm gonna probably rewatch it. I'm gonna rewatch it tomorrow probably when I get. I'm not gonna. It. I'm gonna wait until I get all of them and then. I'll I'm going to rewatch it tomorrow, mainly because I want to see the deleted scenes. That's the main reason. But we'll see. I'm I'm excited for Endgame. I don't know when that's going to drop on Blu-ray. Like August, probably. Yeah. But uh, how do you feel about Box Office Run? What do you think? 
of what? Endgame. Do you think it's gonna pass Avatar? It's not. It's not. And I'm I, at this point. I'm just like whatever. Like I'm fine with it. It's based on what I saw the other day. It's like fifty million behind still. Yeah, I, it's not gonna make that fifty million anytime soon. I, don't think, I think it made like four million over the past week and didn't even make that yeah, much. It's, everyone's everyone in the world has seen it. Like. How many more times are you going to see it before you get bored, tired of it? You know? Which sucks because I don't know if any movie is going to get close anytime soon to that. No, record. we'll get there. There will be another movie in our lifetime that passes up Avatar, but not anytime soon. People are saying uh, next Star Wars movie is going to do it. What do you think? I, no, I think <laughs> no. after the the disaster that was the Last Jedi and Solo, I think everyone's just kind of like, well, I think it'll do well because it's Star Wars, but I don't think it's going to do. Three billion dollars? Are you fucking kidding me? How much did uh eight, eight and seven? Eight did seven and eight both did a billion. I think se- didn't seven make two? It might have made two. I I know it made at least one. It might have made two. I don't know. I think it made it. I think it made two. I want to say. Have. Still, I don't. I think if honestly, this could be the worst episode movie, box office wise. Probably. I think, yeah. I think everybody is just done with Star Wars at the moment. Yeah. I think everyone just there's Star Wars doubt. <laughs> I'm gonna see it just because I'm gonna see it too. We're gonna see it together. Yeah, but I'm not gonna be happy when I'm seeing. It could be amazing. It could be the best Star Wars movie could ever be, made. But it just looks like a bunch of fan service. It could be the worst Star Wars movie ever made. Also, well, that's the Last Jedi. So no, I wouldn't go that. That's the worst. It's Star one of the worst. Movie. It's. I still go with Episode Two. Episode 2 is pretty I, bad as well. I'd I rather watch Episode that. 2 over the last It's Jedi. very boring. Um, this is the last Marvel news I had. And I think it's funny. That's why I saved it for last. Wait. It's hilarious. So apparently in the first um, draft of Endgame, the end scene where Iron Man dies, where Thanos goes, I'm inevitable, inevitable, and then he says, Iron Iron Man. Instead of him saying that, Tony said, fuck off. And then he <laughs> snapped his fingers. That, that would have been, I honestly probably would have preferred that over I Am Iron Man. Because the way he says I Am Iron Man is like really slow. It, that, and that would have been the, like, the perfect time to inject the F-bomb. Like, I am inevitable. Fuck I off. Remember, Ooh, I remember a awesome. couple months before that movie came out, there was a lot of people saying, oh, they used the F-bomb for the first time in that movie. I'm like, why? Where? That would have been then, the best place to do it. And then this comes out, and I'm like, oh. Was that what they were talking about? Them doing that? It might have been. Because I mean, I don't think have have any of the MCU movies dropped an F bomb. No, they need the Gar- to. Guardians one semi tried the, to. Do the it the Guardians movies are te- are like very teetering on R rated. Like I'm surprised those movies aren't rated R with all the shit that they say in those movies. I remember when the Power Stone blew up that chick. Um, Peter Quill was like, "What the." F- and then it like cuts yeah. or something, and they they almost had one in Homecoming as well at the end. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Kind of, they're kind of like getting there. We'll we'll get one in like Far From Home where Aunt May's just like, "What the fuck?" And then it ends. <laughs> and then you know it'll just turn into Logan type movies. It'll just be all R. It'll just be all kinds. <laughs> it'll be Spider Man screaming at, at a little girl. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> this movie's so dark. This movie's so dark. And then Deadpool's gonna be in. MCU eventually, so they'll have to make an R-rated movie eventually. I don't it's gonna have to. Happen. I don't think the his like Deadpool three needs to be in the MCU though. I think they could just continue his weird timeline, and then if they want to put him just like in a movie somewhere, they could. I'd, I'd be totally fine with that. He has that watch thing, right? That just that's, that's yeah, some travel. That, like, it'd be weird if they started to give Deadpool like some kind of like narrative. In the MC, like just have dead, like keep him in his own weird universe, and then if they want to cross him over, if they want to have him cameo on Spider Man, do that. Like it, they don't have to be connected. Like it doesn't matter. It's Deadpool. It doesn't matter. Do you, Do you want him to show up in a crossover movie? Or do I, you want want him, to- I want him in a crossover movie. What I'm saying, like I don't want him. Like Deadpool three doesn't need to take place in the MCU. It could take place like right after Deadpool two, if that makes sense. That's what you want, but do you think that's what will happen? I hope that's what will happen. I don't know if that's what will happen. If Disney's smart, they'll keep it in the same universe. Because imagine if just like everyone's different, like Weasel, like there's no Weasel, there's no Vanessa, there's no Blind Owl, or anything. Like everyone's just different. Like that's a little weird. There's no Cable. Every... What, the, what the hell happened to Cable? <laughs> Turn into Thanos. Turn into Thanos. 
uh, <laughs> they could just. I think if they do that, they should just recast everybody as opposite genders and opposite race, <laughs> just to be, just be like Deadpool. Just be like, what the fuck just happened? And you're like, God damn it, Disney! Like Jesus, that would be <laughs> funny. I don't think Disney would be that like down to like make fun of themselves though. This is why I can't wait for Far From Home to come out because I'm ready for Phase Four announcements. I want to know what's happening after Far From Home. I do too. I'm, I'm really interested. I'm excited because if you go back and watch the Phase Three announcement, it's actually kind of hyped. That shit was baller. I, I saw I saw it not too long ago. That shit was baller. Even though a lot of stuffs changed from that. From what we actually got, I mean, really, it was just in humans. Like that was really the only. There was no Ant Man two scheduled within that. That's true. And I th- there was no Spider Man because, but we didn't have well, the yeah, rights to the Spider Man. Spider Man Homecoming. They like rushed the shit out of that. They were like, I mean, it was Spider Man. It was great. So I mean, it was great. But they they were just like, we got to make as much Spider Man as we can before this contract runs out. It's the best Spider Man movie. It is. Made. I don't care what those Rami fucks say. I mean, I thought you were going to say that Spider-Verse is the best, but. God damn, I always forget about Spider-Verse. Spider-Verse is the best. <laughs> but if we're talking about live action, Homecoming is the best. Homecoming is the second best of all of them. But I put Homecoming and then Spider-Verse. You're, you're crazy. Me. Spider-Verse is great. They're, they're basically the, They're basically the same level of awesomeness the same. to me. Spider-Verse made me cry in the theater. Like... I would put like tier ten is Homecoming and Spider Verse, and then tier eight is like Spider Man Two. That's where I that's where I would do. Tier eight would be Amazing Spider Man because that movie's not that bad. It's like a seven, tier seven for me. That's fair. <laughs> it. I think Spider Man Two is the second best live action. Spider Man Two is great. I prefer Amazing Spider Man, but that's just me because I'm a weirdo. Fuck Andrew Garfield. How dare you, sir? He was only good in the social network. That's not true good. at all. He was uh what's that what's the war That's movies not in? True I like at all. I like you that shut movie. Shut your whore mouth, Devin. What's, what's the war movies in? I like that movie. Uh, Hacksaw Ridge. Yeah, that's a great he's movie. He's good in like every that. movie he's in. You shut your mouth. <laughs> what what other movies is he in? He was in Silence. Never seen Mark Scorsese movie. He was great in that. He was in some weird movie that came out recently where he's like a drug addict or whatever that I heard he was good in. Never never seen that. He's great. Know. He was in was 99 like, Homes with General Zod. I don't even know great. what that is. It's a movie. Great. <laughs> I've, I've only seen him in like two or three different movies. I've never seen him in anything. You need, to, you need to brush up on your Andrew Garfield filmography. And I've also not seen Jake Gyllenhaal in a lot of movies either. Not Dude, any what good. What the hell is wrong? Do you watch movies, dude? I, I do. Just Jake not, Gyllenhaal is amazing. I, I just have a thing against Jake Gyllenhaal, obviously. <sighs> I've seen him in The Day After Tomorrow. That's like his worst movie. <laughs> I've seen him. I've seen him in life. That's again. That's not a good movie, Devin. I know. I I, I suck at watching Jake Gyllenhaal movies. You I don't need know to watch why. The good ones. Like I Night just Hall. I just try to avoid them as much as possible. You're an asshole. Because Jake Gyllenhaal has just got a crusty looking face. How dare you? He does look like a creep, but he's a really good actor. He wasn't in Life because that's a bad movie. I mean, he was he good. Was okay. Actually, he was just playing. He like was that. good in it, but the that was movie bad. Around him wasn't good. Yeah, that's true. It made him look worse. It did. I still can't believe you watched that movie with me. <laughs> I can't believe it I watched that movie on watch. I can't believe I watched that movie twice. That's what I can't believe. Why did you watch it twice? Because I watched it once, and then I watched it with you the second time. Oh, it was a fun watch to like laugh at and make fun of. Ryan Reynolds was in that movie, movie for like ten minutes. They yeah, pulled a Brian Cranston on him. Yeah, but Brian Cranston is a better actor than that. Did you want to? Did you want to say anything about Godzilla two? I know that was old news, but I don't ever want to say... mention Godzilla two ever again. I know you hated that movie. I did too, actually. It's a bad movie. It's one of the few movies that we've seen in theaters together that we both hated. Besides, yeah, it's, usually, it's usually like you come out, and you're like, "I oh, was alright." I was like, "This is the worst thing I've ever seen." This is the first one in, a, in like a while where we both came out. And we were just like, "What the fuck was that?" Besides, like, Dark Tower, we both hated that movie. Dark Tower was pretty bad. It has a dope steelbook, though, that I've been tempted on getting. Don't don't you dare. Because it, look, it looks Don't awesome. you provide money to that fucking movie. That steelbook looks awesome. Is, all that right. all the, is that all the Marvel news? That is. The only thing left is Dark Phoenix. Unless you got stuff you want to I got about. I got a couple uh, movie 
related stuff that's not uh, DC or Marvel. All right, hit me. Um, have you seen? You've seen Coming to America, right? Yes. Coming to America Two is apparently a thing. Why? That's coming when the, out. When the fuck did the first one come out? Uh, I probably say did like the eighties. Probably. I was gonna say, did it come out in the nineties? It might have been early nineties. I don't know the exact date. It's been 20, 30 years. Give up. Well, that's that's what they do now, Devin. They come to it was 88, 1988. Who who's in it? Uh Eddie Murphy's gonna be back in it. There, he, what? He's coming back. He's like 80. He's not that old. He looks old, but he's not that he, old. Oh uh, right now it just says Eddie Murphy. He's the only one confirmed to come back. That hmm. I don't I don't know how I feel about this. And I don't know what the plot is is because i don't i don't think this movie is going to be made if it is it's, it's going it's straight. got a release date it's coming out next year it's gonna go like straight to netflix or something it's it not probably will but it's coming out <laughs> it's i don't not know why out. this movie exists i don't why I, I mean i've seen coming to america the first one but i don't remember it being like anything amazing to where it no it was be. it was good i enjoy that movie but it's like doesn't need a sequel no like, not at all because I know Eddie Murphy's got this, and he's got like Beverly Hills Cop four coming out. I'm like, who the hell gives a shit about Beverly Hills Cop? There's a four. There's a fourth. It's coming out supposedly. They've been working on Beverly Hills Cop four for like a decade now. They're also working on Bad Boys three, even though that's not Eddie Murphy. I know. Uh, yeah, that has nothing to do with Eddie Murphy. You racist. It just reminded me of it. Yeah. Bad Boys three. I'm really excited for and Bad Boys four because they're yeah. making a fourth too. Hell yeah, Bad Boys Forever or whatever the hell that movie's called. Oh god. Oh yeah, I remember. No, I think the third one. The third one's called Bad Boys for Life, and then I think the fourth one's just called Bad Boys 4. You, it doesn't you make me- any sense. You, would you think messed would, up your titles there. Yeah, man. you would think they would reverse the two, but whatever. It's dumb and stupid. I don't care. It's dumb. The whole franchise is dumb. I need to watch the second one. I've seen the first. I haven't seen the second one. No, the second one's, the second one's fucking awesome. I'm Mike Lowry. It's great. You don't get that reference, but it's, I, it's amazing. I don't. I haven't I love seen it. the second one. I love it. I love it so much. Um, apparently... Uh, one of the producers on Rocket Man wants to make uh, a David Bowie biopic. I've, I actually did hear about that. Which, fuck yeah! I know, like, I don't know how much involvement the like this producer had with Rocket Man, but if it's in the tone and like the style of Rocket Man, hell yeah, dude! But David Bowie, like, that sounds awesome. I would rather watch that than Rocket Man, just because. You shut your mouth. I'm not a big. Elton John fan. It doesn't matter. Like, even if you aren't, like, Rocket Man is is. Like, I'm gonna a movie. See, I'm gonna see Rocket Man eventually. I'm not gonna go pay money to go see it in theaters, but I'm gonna go see it eventually. I'm gonna see it eventually. Same. So this, good. That's what I did with Bohemian Rhapsody. I didn't see it in theaters, but I rented it on Redbox. I still haven't so. seen Bohemian Rhapsody. It's good. I don't think it's probably as good as Rocket Man. Uh, I think Rocket it, Man was incredible, and I've I think heard if they if they take the same like energy and like that tone and style and put it with David fucking bowie hey, this could be like one of the best movies of all time like the, i've that heard rocket awesome. man is one of the best like biopics ever oh it is it's because it rocket man did really this is kind of like a semi rocket man review but like it took the biopic kind of structure that every fucking biopic has where it's like oh they were famous and then they did drugs and then they you know stopped doing drugs and they became a good person blah 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 but it told it through the eyes of a musical, which was really interesting. And I don't think any other biopic has done that where it's like they use Elton John songs in these musical numbers to kind of drive the story. And it was really kind of cool and stylistic and awesome. There's one really awesome, uh, like beautiful, like shot in that movie that almost made me fucking cry. Cause it was amazing. But like, if they do that with David Bowie, I think that could be fucking really cool as well. Like, um, well, even Rhapsody, it was good, but, I have to agree with you. It was very much just a musical <laughs> than anything else. Like, yeah. or no, it wasn't a musical. It was, it was performances. Ra- yeah, uh, it was just play all their songs in a movie. Yeah. It'll, it'll Which make I, I hate when they do that. They did that with Straight Outta Compton as well. That's basically what that movie is. But I mean, it's fun. It's fun to watch. It's fun. It's cool. Yeah, but I'll just listen. I'll just turn on Spotify and listen to fucking Queen music. Queen Queen is amazing. I love. Queen. They, have, they have great music, but I don't even see a whole movie about it. And I also. Uh, there's apparently, according to Bruce Campbell himself, there's apparently more Evil Dead on the way. Probably not with him because he's retired the character, even though apparently he's, he might be in Mortal Kombat. But apparently they're still trying to make more Evil Dead. Again, why? I don't know. I like the Evil Dead movies. I think they're they're great. How I many? The, how many of the? How many are there? There's three. Um, in like the first trip, like the 
main trilogy. There's Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, and then uh, Army of Darkness. And then there's Ash vs. Evil Dead, which is sort of a continuation of those movies, but that's a TV show. And then they came back in 2012, 2013, and did like a reboot sequel type thing called Evil Dead. And it was like, it's like kind of connected, but kind of not. It's kind of its own thing. But like, they want, I, I guess they want to do more with that and like see where that goes. But, and I, I think it, they want to merge that series with the original series, which could be fucking nuts. But Evil Dead is kind of a crazy, batshit series anyway, so I'm down for that. It's turning into Sharknado. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it probably will at some point. But I honestly don't know how true this is because I know when that Evil Dead movie came out, the newest one, they had all these like big plans. They were going to make an Evil Dead 4, then they were going to connect the two and make like a cinematic universe, and then that never happened. So I don't know how true. Because everybody wants the big bucks that Marvel's making from them. Yeah, movie. everybody wants a fucking universe for some reason. Like, just make a movie. Make a good movie first, then make one good movie, and then, then let's talk about cinematic universe. Stuff. That's what John Wick did. Yeah, and I don't even think they did it on purpose. I think they just made like a. I don't think they movie. did either. And they were just like, I, "Hey, let's just make more." I don't think Godzilla did meant to make a cinematic universe either, but they're doing it. They're doing it, and hopefully, mm-hmm. Congress of Godzilla is not utter garbage. Uh, and I have some TV news. Oh Lord! I uh, you didn't watch TV. I don't, but I, I found I got two pieces of news that I find interesting. Uh, one, Blue's Clues is getting a reboot. Oh, sh- <laughs> when did the first one end? Didn't it end in like 2000? I don't know. I stopped watching Blue's Clues. Why is it just like now four. getting a reboot 20 well, years later? Well, I think it's been going for like a while, but for some reason it's getting like a reboot. Don't get another rapist or whatever. What? It wasn't the main dude accused as a pedophile or something? Steve? Yeah. No, he just went bald and left. I thought one of them was accused of being. It might have been one of them that was a pedophile, but it wasn't Steve. Don't talk shit about Steve. Let dude. me. You you keep talking about that. Let me let me do. Some I don't research. think anyone was a pedophile. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Uh, maybe it was a different kid show. It might have been because I don't remember this at all. That one's coming up. So maybe I was. Maybe, maybe it was a different you, you just dreamed this. You just made this up. <laughs> I just accused Steve of being a pedophile. I guess. Yeah, I you know. pulled a, a Bill Cosby. Um, but I mean that's uh, I mean that's news I guess I'm not gonna watch it because it's for babies but uh, it was interesting that they're rebooting this fucking old TV show uh, and then there's the Jessica Jones season three trailer did you watch the trailer I did I sent it did to you like the trailer <laughs> that's yeah you did uh, it was fine I guess it, it yeah did. it was it was okay it was very boring it didn't show much it was a boring trailer I don't know who the villain is who is that villain is he from I the comics I don't know I didn't I didn't hear anything that explained who he was. What was his? Did they even say his name? I don't think they did. He he was just he just looked like a dude. Like he was just there. I don't even know if he's the villain. He may just be a character. Well, I know. I I have no idea. I don't know what the hell season three is going to be. Shouldn't have killed David Tennant. He should have just been the villain through this entire show because he was. He should have. He was amazing. They should they should do more than one season villains like Daredevil and have Kingpin. Yeah. But that's too much of a good idea. But like, do you think we're gonna get Hellcat? Hellcat. We are. They they tease that in the trailer. She's like not gonna action. be. She's not gonna be in her suit because they won't even put fucking Jessica Jones in her fucking suit. She'll be in that dumb black outfit because everyone. It's gonna be realistic and gritty. These are fucking people with like super strength and shit. This isn't real. I want them in their dumb costumes. We got Daredevil in his at least. Yeah, and he looks great. And then they went back to the black costume, which honestly kind of looks a little better. But it's just a t shirt and a thing over his face. And then um, they teased Iron Fist. But they never actually fucking did it. <sighs> yeah. And they released the thing that I'm going to rant about Iron Fist now. Oh, the thing that God. they that pissed me off was that um, like immediately after, like the day after they canceled Iron Fist, they showed concept art for season three. And it was him with his mask on and he had like a trench coat and guns. And I was like, God damn it. He looks like a cowboy. That would have been amazing. Why did you cancel this fucking show? Because the first two seasons were the worst reviewed out of all the season shows. It was okay. It wasn't bad. It was fine. I never watched the first season because I heard it was bad. The first so season was watch. terrible. And I apparently didn't need to watch it because I knew everything that was going on in Defenders. So. You didn't. You didn't <laughs> at all. It was pointless. I don't know why that show exists. But I, w- I want to see Iron Fist Cowboy. It's not going to happen. Unless Hulu picks up all these shows, which I doubt it. I, I think they'll anything, probably just pick up Daredevil. I mean, Disney owns most of Hulu now. Yeah. So they could just do whatever. The only one I care about is Daredevil. 
I don't give a fuck. They can recast it, all the other ones. I don't care. Bring it'll Daredevil. probably that'll probably happen if I do. Just do one one more season of Daredevil and I'll be happy. That's all I ask. They'll do another three seasons. No, fuck no. Don't and do then that. Then it'll more. be more than your five, and you'll hate it. I won't hate it just if it's a good show. I'll continue to watch it, but like, don't overstay its welcome. Make they, four or five. Did they then, come out with the third one on Blu-ray yet? No, I'm still waiting on it. I don't think they will because they're assholes. <laughs> They're like, you can never complete your trilogy. Fuck you. I'll find a way at some point. They also haven't released Defenders on Blu-ray yet either. They haven't released like half of them on Blu-ray. I have season one and two of Daredevil, and they look amazing on Blu-ray. They look gorgeous. That's all the news that I have. Do you want to, You want me to get into Dark Phoenix now? Yeah, I want to hear what happens. I'm gonna... <laughs> this is my watching experience. You better tell me the good stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do... I'm going to start kind of just generally talking about it uh and then we'll probably get into is this spoiler is okay this isn't spoilers yet not this part no okay we'll, we'll jump into spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen it yet if they care at all about this movie which nobody seems to care because apparently it's i don't care that's why i'm letting you tell me what happens if this was a I movie mean, i cared about i wouldn't let you do this but <laughs> <laughs> i mean it wasn't this isn't as bad as everyone's saying the 17 percent that it had on Rotten tomatoes I don't understand. It jumped up. It's at 22. Now. Yeah, it's at 22 now. But like, even that's a little too low. Like, it's not, it's it's nowhere near X-Men Origins. It's nowhere near Apocalypse, where it's just it really, it's not, three. it's not worse than Apocalypse. No, I, hate I don't Apocalypse. think so. Because, because this is at least competent. Like, it's, it's a movie. It has like a story. It, they're trying to tell like a story. Apocalypse is just noise. It was just, here's colors <laughs> and shit that doesn't matter. This is at least like, Hey, we're trying to. We're trying. That's essentially the epitome of this. But we're trying. Did it? Did it have a good ending? Uh, I mean, I guess. Like, did it end? What do you define as good? Like, did it end the saga satisfactory? No, not at all. Oh well, then no, it didn't. It, have a good it's ending. not even really like the end because technically, if you want to, if you try to piece together the fucking timeline of the X Men movies, technically Logan is the end of the whole thing. But even just as like, if this is the last thing, it's just, it kind of ended. And I, I just, I was just like, all right, like, all right, cool. Can you tell all the reshoots that happen? Like, can you, is it obvious? It's not, it's not as obvious as like Justice League where everyone like their hair looks different in every shot. And it's like very blatant because of Henry Cavill's fucking mustache or anything. It all feels cohesive and like it was meant to happen. Um, but the third act definitely felt a little weird. Like, I appreciate the small scale of it. I understand what they were trying to do with telling this kind of more personal story. Like, it like they, it seemed like they tried to do, like, a Logan-esque thing, but with the X-Men. And, like, I, I appreciate their effort, but they it just didn't work. And Dark Phoenix shouldn't be this small-scale thing. Dark Phoenix needs to be this big, not, like, in-game, like, war sequence or anything, but it needs to be, like, this big thing with all the X-Men and Jean Grey like blowing shit up and doing like it needs to be a little bit bigger than it was. Isn't like, it called the Dark Phoenix Saga though in the comics? Yeah, it's the Phoenix Saga. It takes place over like years, and for yeah. some reason they keep doing it in one movie. Right. Like if you're gonna just do X Men and you want to do Dark Phoenix, you need to set that up for like three movies. Which it seemed like they they in Apocalypse they were setting it up at the end, but then this but movie just you can't do five minute setups. You can't do a five minute setup. That's not how that works. Well, it, I don't know if this movie, if they intended it to be like a two parter or if they wanted to do a trilogy and then because of the Disney thing, they like fell through or what. I don't know, but this is what we got. And it doesn't work. Like, was it utter garbage or what? No, it wasn't utter garbage. It was, it's bad, but it's would you, not. Would you watch it again? Uh, I mean, maybe. If it was on like TV or something and I was doing something else and it was just on in the background, like, sure. Like, it's not, there's a lot of hyperbole going around about how bad it is. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. I've seen far worse movies. In fact, I probably would have preferred it to be much worse. I would have preferred it to be, like, Origins level bad, because at least Origins is entertaining. This movie was just kind of, like, bleh through most of it. Like, I was bored through a lot of it. Is there any, like, bad CG like there was in Origins? There's some, there's, there's some pretty good CG, but I noticed, like, there was some CG hair at some point that looked kind of questionable. And there's there's some CG here and there that's not great, but some of it some of it looked pretty good. And I mean, all the acting is good. Like you know, you got Michael Fassbender and James McAvoy; they're at the top of their game like all the time. I like Sophie Turner. I like Ty Sheridan. The biggest problem is they have all these good actors, but they just don't use them. Like you have Sophie Turner; she's the she's the title character. 
and they like they set up for her to be like oh she's gonna be this evil villain like type thing and then that just kind of goes nowhere and they just don't really do anything with it and then you have ty sheridan who's playing cyclops and they went they made it's so funny. They make Cyclops such a dumbass in this fucking movie. They make him so stupid, like he's, they did in the other movies. He's so was, dumb in this fucking movie. I was gonna say he's a dumbass in all the movies. Yeah, it's so funny how like this franchise just blatantly hates Cyclops. It's so funny. He's never done anything in any of these movies, and I'm just, like, why is he here? Like, I don't understand. He's so dumb in this fucking movie. He didn't. Didn't, even get it. didn't he die in Last Stand? He did. And it was but like. It wasn't even a real death. You didn't even see his body. No, because Jean Grey like disintegrated him. Yeah, you just saw just his visor. Yeah, he should have stayed dead. He didn't need to come back. Yeah, he came back at the end of Days of Future Past, though. Yeah, but I mean, it's not. It's not terrible. It's just a whatever. Like you don't need to. You're not missing out on anything. Like there's nothing. There's no continuity, obviously. But so if I don't see this in theaters, it's worth it. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Yeah, I don't, like, you're not missing it. It's not like a giant like theater experience. If I don't go pay $12 to see this, you're I'll fine. Like, okay. you're, yeah, you'll be all right. It's not... You don't need to rush on to see it immediately. You don't even need to like see it when it comes out. Like You can see it like 20 years from now, and it'll be fine. I guess we can jump into spoilers now. Um, right, I'm ready. I'm excited. I want to know what happens. Pretty much. It starts It starts off pretty promising. They start off in space. They're going up to space to because there's like the ship with some astronauts in it that like went awry and they got to go rescue these astronauts. And it started off pretty fun where it's like, Oh shit, we're seeing the X-Men be X-Men saving people. Even though a couple of the X-Men can like breathe in space, apparently like there's one scene where Jean Grey is just flat out breathing in space. What? She's just a person. And she I'm has... like, okay, <laughs> like they don't explain. It. I thought there was going to be like some like, Oh, her powers or she created like a force bubble around her. They don't explain it. And I think Quicksilver also can breathe in space somehow. Which is that weird. doesn't make any fucking sense. That doesn't make any sense either. <laughs> but they went through such an effort to have Quicksilver like duct tape like a helmet onto Nightcrawler, but then he's just openly breathing in space. And I'm like, okay, like did somebody like just miss something? Like they just missed something when shooting? Like, all right, cool. What a promising then, start you have. Yeah, and then a Storm can also like, I guess, I guess she can just create ice just on her own. I always thought her powers were she can control the weather. But she's up in space and she's like freezing the, the thing to close it off. But I'm like, she can't really do that, can she? She, she storm controls the weather, right? Yeah. But for somehow she can use her powers anywhere, I guess, even in space, which is, it does make sense. I don't know. I, I didn't make the rules it of did. these superpowers. <laughs> Nonsense. And then we see Jean Grey get the the Phoenix thing sucked into her. They don't call it the Phoenix Force ever. They don't call it Phoenix at all. Um, it's Phoenix is not mentioned thing. in the entire they, film. There's one scene where Cyclops is like, hey, all the kids are calling you Phoenix, blah, blah, blah. But, like, they don't call the entity Phoenix. Go balls to the walls. Just do it. Yeah, do it. And, and there's also aliens. That, like, this is a goofy fucking movie. Just call it the Phoenix Force, for God's sakes. But, like, uh, and then they get back to Earth, and Jean Grey's like, oh, I got this thing in me. I don't know how to control it, blah, blah, blah. And she she figures out that, like, oh, Professor X is, like, kind of a dick. And he, he blocked off this, like, trauma that I had as a kid, and my dad's alive. And I'm going to go meet my dad. And then it turns out the dad didn't want her. And he's like an asshole. And then she like almost kills her dad, but she doesn't. And then the X-Men come and they're like, yo, you can't, you can't do this. You can't kill your poppy. And then she's like, fuck off. And she like, just like blows them all away. It, it looks like there's going to be a Quicksilver scene in this moment. Like a cool, like he puts his earbuds in and he runs and blah, blah, blah. But then he like starts running. And then Jean just like, she doesn't even like throw him or she just like drops him. And he just falls, and then he's just out of commission for the rest of the fucking movie. Wow, what a cop <laughs> because, later, because later we see him on a stretcher, and he looks like he just got the shit kicked out of him, but he just falls. I'm like, okay. And then uh, she that's when we get the, the scene where she kills Mystique, uh, which wasn't a, a shock to anyone. Jennifer Lawrence did not want to be in this movie at all. Her performance is awful. Plus, they, they almost showed it in the trailer, basically. They did. They, they have a scene where Sophie Turner is like, oh, I didn't want to do it, blah, blah, blah. And then it shows Mystique getting thrown into a thing. And also, it's like, of all of the things, Dark Phoenix can do anything. She throws her into a spike that's just, like, there. For some reason, there's just some spike just on a house. And she just throws her. Like, you can't, like, blow her up or, like, disintegrate her or something. You just gotta throw her into a spike. Like, what the hell? Do something cool, at least. And then... Beast goes up to her and he's like, oh no, Raven, you're dead. And she's just like, ugh. And then she dies. She's like, good, I'm out of this movie. 
And then they return back to the X base or whatever. And then uh, Phoenix goes to Magneto, who's chilling on Genosha, which looks like this hippie like commune where they're just like growing plants and being all cool and shit. And Magneto's like, yo, leave me the fuck alone. I'm, I'm done with this shit again. Even though I'm pretty sure every movie that's kind of his plot where he's just like, I'm that done. Is. And then he gets pulled back in. It's um, literally every plot of every <laughs> movie for Michael yeah. Fassbender is, I don't want to do this, but I'm going to fucking do it anyways. Yeah. And then he's like, oh, whose blood is on your shirt? Oh, blah, 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 blah. And then the, the army comes because they, for somehow they know Jean Grey is there. And then Michael Fassbender is like, yo, y'all got to fucking leave this. You know, we didn't do anything wrong. Blah, 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 blah. And I noticed there was a, there on one of the army people's, uh, like the main army guys, uh, Uniform. There was a patch that said MCU on it, which was <laughs> it was so stupid. But it was for like mutant control unit or whatever, and it was so like blatantly obvious that they were trying to have an MCU reference. It was yeah, it was dumb. And then <laughs> Jean Grey comes out of it. She just like floats out of this like building, and then like oh, there's there she is. There's Dark Phoenix. We gotta like we gotta shoot her. And then Magneto's just like, don't do that. Get in your helicopter and get the fuck out of here. And then they start to take off, and then Jean Grey is like pulling the helicopter. And then Michael Fassbender is like, no. And then he starts pulling the helicopter and they start having like a tug of war t- helicopter off. And Michael Fassbender looks like he's like constipated or some shit. Cause he's really like, he's really like, he really does go in with the face. He's like, oh, and it, like it, it looks like I was like, oh shit, he's really pulling that helicopter. And then he actually wins. He, he manages to like get it away. Um, and then Jean Grey kind of, I forget what happens after that. She fucks off somewhere. And then, um, then we get a conversation where um, it's Beast and Professor X. They're they're in like the kitchen, and uh, Professor X is just like, "Oh, well, Raven's there. That's that's kind of that kind of sucks." And then Beast is like, "This is all your fucking fault." And then they start having this argument, and then Beast goes rogue and he gets in the X jet. He flies to Magneto and he's like, "Yo, Magneto, they kill Raven." And then he gets all pissed off and he's like, "What?" And then he gets his helmet. His, the helmet that is from First Class, by the way, that has looked different in every movie, but for some reason it looks exactly the same. In this movie, it looks exactly the same as it did in the beginning of First Class, but not at the end of First Class because it looked different in First Class. Again, no continuity. Um, and then they don't give a shit about it. They don't. They really don't. And then, even though they reference things that happen in other movies, but whatever. And then uh, uh, Magneto gets his best men. He gets Beast. He gets this guy who has the dumbest power I've ever seen. He can like control his dreadlocks and like make them do stuff. And then he gets this like <laughs> telepath woman who has knives. And then they go and like, we're gonna kill, we're gonna kill the Phoenix. We're gonna go kill Jean Grey because she killed Raven. And then they, they go to kill Raven. And then um Professor X and Cyclops and Nightcrawler confront them. And uh Cyclops is like, if you if you you know touch her, I'm gonna fucking kill you. And that's the one F bomb they get. And then uh, Professor X is like, oh, Charles, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Blah, blah. And that's where we get that cool line where Magneto's like, oh, there's always a speech, Charles, but nobody cares, blah, blah, blah. And it was like, that's a cool line. But it doesn't matter anymore because none of the shit matters. Uh, and then we have like a mini civil war on like a street corner where it's just like Professor X and Nightcrawler versus like Magneto and Beast and stuff. And it's really dumb because it literally takes place on like two foot of a street. And it's just like, who can cross the street first? And then Magneto goes into this building that Jean Grey's in, and he he does this for some reason he he pulls up a a subway car out of the ground for some reason I guess to block off the door but it's like he could have just put a car in front of it like he didn't have to do all that stuff that's a little excessive and then Jean Grey's like hey you come to fight me I'm I'm better than you and then she picks him up looks like she's gonna kill him which would have been a cool scene because he's like struggling and it, it's like this cool close up on his face and you just see his eye like ah. And then she just like rips his helmet off and then just like throws him. I'm like, start killing some of these people for fuck's sakes. And then you killed the weakest mutant. Well, like, you killed Mystique on like accident. Fucking kill Magneto. This guy who's actively trying to kill you. Like, fucking kill him. Turn him to mush or something. And then Professor X comes in and he's like, hey, Gene, you gotta stop all this. And then Gene does this. It's it's kind of funny. It's it's not meant to be funny, but Gene like starts moving his legs and making him walk up the steps. And it looks so like the way it's shot. I almost like kind of wanted to laugh because it's it, he's he can't walk obviously, so he's just kind of like his feet are just kind of like brushing up against the steps. And I'm like, why did you you couldn't just pick him up and like <laughs> put him somewhere? And then Jessica Chastain, she plays this alien lady who like she's from the comics or whatever. I guess they say her name once and it doesn't matter. 
and she's like, she's there. She's like, oh, they lied to you, and blah blah blah. And then she's trying to manipulate Jean, and they're like killing all these people. And she's like, I don't want to do it, blah blah blah. And then she takes part of the Dark Phoenix power or whatever the hell it is. And then it they tr they were building up that Jean was gonna be the villain, and then they just did nothing with it. And then they go to this train. I don't remember why. I think. The oh no the the army comes into that building and they capture all the mutants and then they they that's how they end up on the train the army people take them and put them on the train and then um, the entire climax the entire third act takes place in this little tiny train car and it was really kind of like blue whatever so you're telling me and then and then uh, Jean Grey takes that alien bitch who like the whole movie has been trying to like manipulate her and whatever. She takes her up into the sky and just like blows her up. And then you tell me the all. only person that died was Mystique. I mean, Jean technically, I don't think she died, but she like went up in the sky and like became part of the Phoenix Force or whatever. I guess, but yeah, that sounds awful. And then they they have the the end scene where it's like, oh, now Beast is like headmaster of you know the the school, and they rename the school the Jean Grey School for the Gifted or whatever. And then it was really funny because there was a line um, Magneto says at the end of the movie where he's like. Oh, Charles, I see you retired. And I'm like, you're like 32. What the hell, what the hell you mean you retired? Uh, and then they sit down at like a coffee shop and they have, and they play chess. And then the, the camera kind of pans out. And then up in the sky, you just see like the phoenix like flying in the sky. And then it ends. Oh, that sounds really cliche. Uh, <laughs> um, this, does, does this even take place within the original trilogy timeline anymore? Like, what the fuck? No, well, this was part of this would be part of the new timeline. Okay, does it ever answer the question of what happened to Magneto in between this movie and the first movie? He's so fucking old. No, they don't. They don't mention any of the age stuff. Cause like, there's no, there's no like, hey, we age slower. Like none of that. Like that's only that movie takes place only eight years apart. In, in between in, uh, Dark Phoenix, he's sixty two. He looks like he's forty. And Michael Fassbender's... I don't even think Michael Fassbender's 40. He might be 40. But he's, he doesn't look 62 at all. I'm like, you couldn't have put... And the, the funniest part was when Beast is in when he's blue, the few times that he's blue in the fucking movie, they clearly, like, aged him up a little bit when he's Beast. So it's like you couldn't have, like, put a little bit more makeup on some of these guys to make them look a little older, like, a little bit. Or what would have been cool was just bring back Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen and just, like, de-age them, like, a little bit. Like, that would have been fine. I'd have been okay with that. I don't know if I want them associated with this movie. That would have been all right. I mean, they were in X3. They, they've they been in far worse movies. I guess. But, but it was, was just a clusterfuck. Was there a uh, after credit scene? No, there wasn't. Wow. It just that just sounds all sorts of disappointing. It was just it was just like a mess of a, of a movie. And it, it, it's competently made. It's not like a train wreck. I would have preferred a train wreck. But, like, it's... I mean, I guess it's just really boring. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't go see that with you. And there's a cameo from Dazzler in it. Of all wow. the X Men, they could have they could have put. In <laughs> Why the do they throw Dazzler. such obscure X Men in these? Where the fuck's Gambit? Gambit's just dead, I guess. I, and that's that's Dark Phoenix. There's some. The X Men saga has its ups and its downs. There, yeah. it's it's few and far between, to be honest. Like, yeah, I mean it. It sucks. You got the masterpiece the of Logan and Days of Future Past, and then you got X Men Origins and Apocalypse. Like, what? What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, I, th like it, this movie didn't really need to be made because it's not like this answers a bunch of questions. If anything, this asks like this has more. I have more questions after seeing this than I did if they just it, ended with Logan. It was supposed to end like that's how they were promoting it. Like. This yeah, they, how, they said it was the final chapter of this thing, but it just kind of just ended. And I'm like, all right. Wow. Like 20, 20 years of buildup, and this is what we got. 20, yeah, 20 years, and this is the finale. This is the final chapter of the X-Men. I'm not even going to call it a saga. The X-Men movies, because none of them are really connected. They, they legit don't give a shit about the continuity whatsoever within that franchise. No, they don't. They ignore what happened in the last movie. They don't even acknowledge what the hell, like, the way they defeated Apocalypse was she had some kind of Phoenix thing come out. They don't acknowledge that at all in this movie. And I'm just like, okay. It's, I think, I think Simon Kimberg, who directed and wrote this movie, I think also wrote Apocalypse. 
So it's like you. It's not like he just came in and was like, "I want to do my own thing." Like, blah, blah, blah. he knew what the hell happened in the last movie. <laughs> he made it. He he had a hand in it. Yeah. So I was like, I, all right. I, it just sounds like a disappointment, and I feel like I'm gonna hate it way worse than you did, to be honest. You might. I don't know. I don't because I have. I kind of have a soft spot for the X Men movies. I I defend a lot of them, but like. I, I, I'm not gonna defend this one. Like, it's, I it's don't have bad, a soft spot for the X Men movies whatsoever. I like a lot of them. I like most of them. There's just really bad ones in there, also. There are. But th- this is nowhere near X Men Origins. Like X Men Origins is still like the worst one. I, don't, I have to see it for myself to say that, but it just it sounds like a disappointment. Oh, it's disappointing, but it's it's not a train wreck. I can't believe it ends just so unnaturally. Yeah. I, I mean, again, I don't know if they were planning on doing more, like two parts, or if they were going to like continue this on or whatever. But this is how it ends. Well, hopefully Disney can uh, salvage this. Hopefully, I just hope they don't do Dark Phoenix again. I'm tired of that. They give up. Don't do it. Do a different X Men story. Do, do the Apocalypse storyline, but do it correctly. Do House of M. Set up House, House of, of M. M. Do House of M. House of M would be awesome. I would love to see a House of M played out right over a certain amount of movies. And I think they might do something with Scarlet Witch that's reminiscent of House of M as well. I hope so. Cause I think they're going to like kind of like fold her into that story. I don't know how they're going to introduce X-Men into the MCU. But I actually think they probably shouldn't. I think they should just like leave the X-Men in their own. Do like, you know that they're going to? Well, gonna... I mean, like, why, why does it matter if they're in the MCU? If they're Disney, if they're made by Disney, like, who gives a shit? Because you know they're setting up an Avengers vs. X-Men movie. That's I don't want to see do. that movie. What the hell is that going to be? It's just going to be Civil War 2, basically. Okay, cool. We don't need that. It's going to happen. I don't want that. It's probably what this building towards. I don't I think... know if we'll get an Avengers movie in Phase 4. We might. We very well yeah, might. It won't be called Avengers, though. I think, I think they're going to let the Avengers kind of brand set for a bit. We might get another team like another so, uh, team. They're going to get a Revengers again. Revengers. Uh the next movie I think I'm seeing in theaters is Toy Story. Toy Story. You all have to tell us how Toy Story is cuz I'm not uh, fucking seeing that movie. Is there there's not something coming out this weekend is there? I don't think so. Yeah, the next the next big movie I'm seeing is Toy Story. When does Lion King come out? When does that come out? I think probably July also. Come on, July. Let me look. Lion King 2019. July 19th. It comes out after Spider-Man. Are you seeing Lion King? No. Not in theaters. Okay. I'm not seeing Lion King either. So. Are, it's we, probably are just... we seeing Hobbs and Shaw together, though? When, did, when does that come out? It comes out like late July, I think. Probably. I kind of want to see that. I really do. I, fucking, <laughs> I wanna, That looks so stupid and dumb. I want to see it. And I, Idris Elba is Black Superman. So he really is Black Superman. That's the that is the closest we'll get to a uh, Black Adam versus Superman movie. God, it's gonna be fun. It may not be good, but it'll be fun. Oh, I'm sure it's gonna be terrible, but it looks fucking. It looks amazing. It it'll be fun. I can't wait. To be honest, I can't wait either. Say so it's a good way to end it. Unless you got anything else to to add um, to this. No, not really. That's kind of that's kind of it. Dark Phoenix was whatever, you know. <laughs> it's whatever. Whatever is the most whatever movie I've ever seen. Well, I'm not gonna watch it until it comes out on disc. So I mean, don't pay for it. Watch it when it just comes out. On, like, I'm not. I'm gonna rent it on Redbox for a dollar. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, do that. That works. That's my plan, at least. Well, this was the first episode of the real duo podcast uh i don't have like any clever fancy outro or anything to say uh, yet so end it not yet i'll have to think about it and where's the music cue the music cue the music do deadpool cue the music where, where is that music i don't know where is it i don't have it i don't have it i need we're gonna it. have to we're gonna have to get some some people on that yeah we gotta get we gotta get some music soon we should have we should have music we are. We're gonna. We're gonna have music. It's when, been working. When is already. it happening? When is it? I, how long have people working on this music? I don't know. He probably just started. I got a guy. We got a guy working on it. We got a. We got a guy. We got a guy. Well, cue the fake music. Cue it's, the, the boop a doop. Here, you then, sing us out, Devin. You you give us like a, t- a tune or whatever. Um.
Dark Phoenix sucks. <laughs> there we go. I guess that's the song. There we go. So I guess the next episode or will be next week. Next, whenever we film it. Whenever we release this, it'll be a week from that. A week from whenever this comes out. Because this could come out in like five days. It could come out like 20 years from now. I don't know. Who knows? So thank you for listening to this cringy podcast. It was our first one. Give us our first one. cringy podcast. Uh, hopefully we'll get better and improve. We'll probably not. We'll do our best. We'll try. To stay. We'll do our best to stay mediocre. Well, yeah. Well, that's that's our peak level. <laughs> mediocre. As long as we're mediocre, that's fine.